Hey y'all, it's Chris, the head honcho at Able Outdoorsman. Hope y'all are doing well tonight. I wanted to get some content up on my new blog and highlight one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I have. It's a crossbow made by 10 point. It's the Stealth FF FX4. It is a bad mamma jamma. Um, I got it last year. I've used it a whole season and this thing is just awesome. Easy to use. It almost doubles my uh, days in the woods here in lower Alabama. Um, I get to start hunting basically about ha Halloween weekend and go through almost mid-February. So I know a lot of people out there, especially in the disabled community, are real intimidated by the thought of using a bow and primarily stick with gun, gun season. I'll, I'll assure you that this uh, piece of equipment is very easy to use with little to no effort. And I've used it all year. I hunted 40 days. I had spent 40 days in the woods this year. A lot of those were during bow season. So I'm gonna get some close-ups in here, but here it is. It's, it's, it weighs right in at about 6.8 pounds. It has a 185 pound draw weight, but that doesn't really matter because it uses the action draw to cock it. It's got shoots a Pro-Lite arrow, which comes in either an Omni knock or an Omni bright knock. And it shoots that arrow right at about 370 feet per second, which is fast. And it gives, it shoots, it has about 113 foot pounds of kinetic energy. It's a bad machine. Again, it weighs in right at 6.8 pounds. Um, and it shoots an arrow called the Pro Light Arrow, and it's about 370 grain. It's a little over a thousand bucks. You might be able to pick one up in the off season for a little less. But I'm telling you, you'll love it. It'll give you a lot more time in the woods if you're not taking advantage of your bow season. So stay, stay tight. I'm gonna zoom in and get a little closer on this thing so you can see how it works. Sit tight. Okay, y'all, I'm zoomed in here a little closer on this Stealth, FF, F, Stealth FX4. I've got trouble saying that uh, by 10 point. This thing is just an awesome piece of equipment. I wanted you to get a closer look at it. First, let me highlight the scope. The scope is just awesome. It's a 3X ProView 2 scope. It's got a uh, four part illuminated reticle that you can either make red or green. It's awesome. Um, or not illuminated. And it's got a 20, 30, and 40 yard uh, pin, pin marks. Um, it's just, it's awesome. So let me kind of highlight and let you look down this bow. Um, it weighs in right at 6.8, so it's relatively light. I use mine. Um, I just ba balance mine either on a uh, tripod. I use the uh, trigger stick by Primos, uh, the Generation Generation 2, um, or I, I just uh, hanging out my uh, shooting house window. Um, but it's really nice, and it's got this AccuDraw system right here that uh, takes all the uh, uh, strenuous work out of cocking it and pretty much anybody could cock it uh, that has you know able use of their hands. Um, I usually put mine in my lap but for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to leave it on the table so you can see what I'm doing. Alright what you do right here is you click there's a thing right here that engages this um, the AccuDraw so you d disengage it and you pull it over the scope and then you hook, make sure you hook both of the claws on the string. And then down in the frame of the bow, you've got a crank that pops out, it's really slick. Do not lose this because they're hard to replace. Um, and you stick it right in and then you engage it, just like that. And then however you wanna hold it, you have to keep your hands out of here. And you got 185 pound draw, draw weight on this bow, you can lose a finger real easy. But you just gradually crank back. It's really easy to do it. I've had my mother crank it just to show how easy it is. But like I said, if you have use of your arms, um, you should be able to do this with no problem. Now I'm going to show you something, when it gets to a point, here's the safety right here, it's got a nice feature. When it gets to a certain point, it's going to automatically engage the safety watch. Do you hear it click? So when it clicks like that, you click the engage off and you crank back a couple strokes until it catches. And then that 
That's it. Here's where you have to be ultra careful. You lose fingers very easy. Tape's on. See right here? You pull this. I like to just do it with one hand. Up and away. And it locks right back here in the stock really nice. Now the bow is pretty much ready to go. Put the arrow in. This is the Pro Light arrow that I use. It shoots right at 370 feet per second. Slide in. 10 point, most of them do, they have a logo on one of the veins. That vein always goes down into the rail. Place it into the rail, just like that, put the logo down, just like that, and then slide it back until it's in there. Now you just put it to red for fire, look through your 3X scope, and pull the trigger. Trigger is very forgiving too. Well, for purpose of this demonstration, my dog and the furniture in my house aren't going to let me shoot it in here. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, review and uh, definitely take a look at this. It, it's given me almost twice the amount of time in the woods, and it's a uh, a very um, great piece of equipment. Also, you can notice all the dampening equipment. This thing's really quiet in the woods. I was really surprised how quiet it was. So I hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you soon. Look forward to uh, having more content, and stay tuned. Thanks. Well, I hope you all enjoyed my first review. Um, I got the first one under my belt, so now I'm excited to uh, get going and get a lot of content on the Able Outdoorsman. I hope you all will promote uh, this blog, the Able Outdoorsman blog, and the Facebook page when you want to know that maybe uh, you know a person living with disabilities or someone that just you know be in the sport against industry and enjoy the content that I provide I hope it's useful and I hope that if anything it'll get somebody out there that may not uh, have the courage or uh, the you know knowledge to uh, to uh, get in the outdoors and enjoy some hunting and fishing that's my primary goal so I hope you'll help me in this journey and promote this as best we can the more people we have, the better this will be. So I thank you all for uh, watching. I hope you all enjoyed the uh, first, uh, first video blog. And uh, you all have a good evening. Thank you very much.